ume ume come highly recommended kwa mambo ya pesa uh-huh. alafu nikakutana na yeah. the financial discipline yeah. uh, project yeah. yako yeah. kwanza uh-huh. i was speaking to uh, our producer on radio yeah. anaitwa wini yeah. akaniambia madem mm-hmm. ali confess it yeah. was a confession akasema yeah. madem muko na kitu pesa <laughs> pesa nayo muko nayo yeah. which begs the question mm-hmm. pesa yenu inakuanga ya nini actually wacha nikwambie madem city tuko na kitu sana but tunajua kujipanga Let me give you a practical example I use when I'm talking to my online chama members yeah. Mama zetu back in the day wangeza kuambia sina pesa kab, yana, sina tuko karibu kula lanja. Lakini. lakini mtoto agonjeke kwa hiyo boma you're taken to the best you get the best medication because wa mama ama ladies wanajua ku save pesa actually that's why when when you're getting married una pia tafuta dem anajua kupanga kupanga maisha unaelewa so i think ladies tunajua sana kujipanga na ukisema mnaweza kuwa wamama wanaweza kuwa na pesa mm-hmm. na watu wa kufenja yeah. but anajua <laughs> anangoja bad a bad omen yeah. pesa yenu ni a bad omen where do you get the, uh-huh. the energy where do you get the audacity mm-hmm. to call us stingy <laughs> see what eh? in a depend unajua mm-hmm. mimi ni independent lady <laughs> mimi ni boss lady. Okay. So mi pesa yangu najitafutia mwingine akiamua niongezee sema one day I'll be married. It's okay. But yangu ni yangu. Hmm. So ina depend nani ndo anaita na stingy. Okay. Yeah. So before tuongelee <laughs> mambo ya kujipanga, yeah. what would be your definition of stingy? I think my definition of stingy is someone who knows that they are lacking but they're not doing anything about it. That's my definition of stingy because you find let's say a man mwenye anajua mesota, anashinda kwa nyumba but ha make effort ya kutoka nje kutafuta kama wanaume wenzake. That's my definition of someone without a vision and someone who's stingy to me. Yeah. But mwanaume mwenye unaonda anajaribu lakini hapati. That's not a stingy man, that's a trying man. But a man mwenye unaona All and see it ya amevunjika miguu akona everything is working everything is okay hmm. but anashinaga kwa nyumba anangoja aombe ama asaidiwe that's a stingy man but a man who is trying getting out there and a hustle that's a trying man stingy has nothing to do with mtu ulia sana mtu watu wangi do kwanza one of the latest um, <laughs> in a tragic trends mm-hmm. kwa the stingy men association mm-hmm. um, I, i had it's gone global ni mm-hmm. today makitokea kwa date mm-hmm. na chali mm-hmm. uh, ameenda kwa date na chali na amekam na mabisti zake mm-hmm. um, hmm. <laughs> chali ana lipa food yake peke yake. peke yake what do you make of that man kwanza um i think this just varies from individual to individual <laughs> Mm-hmm. Sorry to be a little bit you know over the bit but I, I feel like uh-huh. it varies from individual to individual. Uh-huh. Lakini kama you know nipo pia madem tunapenda kuspoiliwa mimi napenda kuspoiliwa pia hata kama I'm, I'm independent and stuff but I also like a little bit of being spoiled here and there. Sa- okay pesa ya msimu mwingine ni tamu kushinda yako. Let's rudi hapa. Inakunga hivyo. Rudi hapa kwa independence. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, Miss independent. Yeah but uh kuspoiliwa ni fun yeah how do you draw how the line? do you draw the line that's an interesting question because me usema hata kama niko na yangu kuni spoil unajua wanaume naturally ni, ni watafutaji alafu wanawake tunapenda kubembelezwa yeah. kuni spoil it you pay my bills that's where people get it wrong spoiling is this is my girlfriend or this is my wife wacha nimpeleke hata uh please poa kule please ajazoea nimbaye flowers kuna kiatu size yake na jua nimbaye you know spoiling doesn't necessarily mean bills ikuja kwa bills nayo hiyo ni story different but is it ndogo ndogo kama uh, let me buy her flowers let me buy her a good shoe which handbag does she like things like those that's hmm. spoiling yes hmm. okay so you draw your inspiration yeah, <laughs> yeah. financial planning mm-hmm. from your culture ya yeah, our mothers yeah, yeah. in yaje yeah. priorities yeah priorities in business we call them emergency funds so most of the time ni poa kama mtu kama binadamu unakuwa na emergency funds you put kidogo just in case something happens <laughs> because you know we live in situations where by corona taught us a lot of things a lot of things retrenchments zilifanyika businesses were closed watu rent wamekosa so when you have a little bit enye unarusha hata 200 mahali that's our mothers me specifically that was my mom my mom vitu peti peti kama sijui niliona nguo um, hiyo mtasumbua na utamkasirikia bure but when it, something happens kwa boma she's the first person to make sure that nyinyi mmepata ama hamkosi yes but then mali nitakuwa 
confused mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. basi for the ordinary person how do you decide on emergencies because unaweza mm -hmm. kuumeka hivi <laughs> uko na stress mazi yeah. kitu emergency sasa hiyo ni mzinga mm, yeah. so ukikunywa mzinga sasa hiyo mm -hmm. emergency who decides the emergency because I, I, i don't believe mm -hmm. i don't believe in the concept of mm -hmm. Eh, manzi i pesa mm -hmm. nimestick pale kwa mm -hmm. ati mtu akikuwa mgonjwa eh hey, pesa acha ni ini ya malaria manzi unajua uwezi jua no haweki kama ati ini ya malaria man that's the same way enye i'm not here to preach about insurance that's the same way ni poa kupata insurance ju hujui kitu ina happen kesho yeah. you know ujui mtu yani ushaikuwa umekuwa poa all of a sudden uko na ma headache alafu pesa ulikuwa nayo ndio umetoka kutumia madha Mm. na uko na headache na hunawezi mtu mpigie simu ombe but then mshiko na it's you know it's embarrassing and it's not right maybe alikuwa pia na emergency zake so emergencies doesn't mean that you're preplanning it means that you're ready for anything ah, yeah nice. you're ready for anything yeah nice apo actually well put I'm an advocate for us to get medical insurance medical yeah. cover very important. very important so ukiwa na medical cover mm -hmm. au unaweza finya do yako vile unataka jua it's, no emergencies pia umeona venye retrenchment imefanyika watu wamekosa job ama unaweza pata kuna month yenye biashara yuzi let me use my own example yeah. time ya corona tulikuwa hatupigi shows sana kama wasanii alafu you know yeah. in the kenyan case with the issues of kulipwa na easy other bodies it's, it's a little bit of a challenge so imagine hiyo ndo time tulikuwa tumeanza financial discipline tuna save save na mi nilianza last year like last year but one yes. in 2019 yes. uh, like pre saving and learn, teaching myself about uh, savings yes unajua hiyo ni kitu yenye hatukuwa tumeongoja si aimanisha ti lazima iko ni ugonjwa inamaanisha pia jobs upotea kuna time hata kwa mziki kuna high season na low season exactly. so unajipa ngaje thank you thank you very much mm -hmm. kuna high season low season unajipanga for tough times yeah. so when it comes to financial discipline yeah. kuna kuangana two ways yeah. savings mm -hmm. or investment true so mimi na come from the book of mm -hmm. ukiweka do mm -hmm. at you may save mm -hmm. kwa bank mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. alafu eh, covid come yeah we kule pole pole we kule pole pole mm -hmm. iishe mm -hmm. alafu so mimi usema when you're saving you must have a goal as to why you're saving Mbono unaeka hii pesa. Alafu on the other thing ya yeah, investment, me believe life ni step at uh, uh, like step at a time. Uwezi save dog sema nataka ni invest mbio mbio. Inv investment pia inahitaji drawing a plan. Unaweza place uh, pesa yako place flani ipote. So yeah. it also needs time. You need to save place yenye kuna interest rates. Kuna hizo financial institutions zenye ziko na interest rate. Alafu in the matter of uh, unaweza kula uki When when usha jua situation ndo hii ndo unatumia emergency fund. Yes. At the back of, of your mind unajua niko kwa fix. Nitajitoaje kwa fix niki survive na hii yenye iko. Nice. You get what, what nice, I'm saying? Nice, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Na last year at least um, 2020 yeah. was kind because uh, COVID ilingoja January ishe. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's a good part. This time, eh, yeah. 2021 yeah. COVID imeshikana na January. It's a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> na najua watu wameitwa kuna kitu tunasema anga eh, Nairobi mm -hmm. inakuita mkutano yeah. you are in the boardroom with the city yeah. alone yeah. Nairobi mai kuita meeting mimi ni shy ni kusota, eh, when time nimetoa radio love I, i had a big name but i was very broke wacha i was very very broke ulikuwa kwa boardroom napanda tu eh napanda matatu kama wenzangu nyimbo ni kubwa cuz radio love was a big banger it was really really big I but know. i was super super broke so ilibidi nijiteka mkutano cuz kuna mwanamuziki mwenye anajua the music business vizuri yeah. kuna kitu inaitwa cpm Unaweza yeah. kuwa uko na views mingi but how generate do yes. your audience. Yes. Wewe ni mtu wa YouTube I'm sure unaielewa. Ah. You have a CPM. So nikajeta mkutano ndo nikatoa maombi. So maombi lipandisha CPM yangu hadi wa leo. Sikiza zangu hadi wa leo. So inataka anga unakaa una chini unajevaluate unajiambia wapi ndo nakosea. I know it's a gospel song someone is going to criticize I was doing it for money but no I was at the end of the day we have bills to pay. I was doing it thanking God because of the tough situations and at the same time nilikuwa napandisha pia CPM yangu. So, so ni poa kujita mkutano Nairobi nafunza. So ngoja Radio mm -hmm. Love mm -hmm. ilikuwa na CPM low yeah. but maombi ilikuwa hi. So ni CPM ama ni Yesu? Unajua ni zote. <laughs> <laughs> Zote ni key, key factors zenye zina fuel each other. Hey. Juu kwa mtu mwenye analewa biashara mziki kuna nyimbo ukitoa unatafuta hype. Unatafuta jina. So wow. what you do with the name is where you draw the line. Like now I have the name. 
what am I going to do? How am I going to use my name to make money? So that was the dilemma I was in. Because that's why unapata msania mekuwa hot kwa market. Mm. Alafu, tunanza kumchekelea. It's because we didn't have, we don't have proper people who, who can advise us that it's okay. It's okay to do a hype song. But you need someone who's telling you that he hype, pia high lipi bills. Because for me, radio love opened so many doors in terms of hype. But yeah. in terms of money, not so much. For but you. Maombi really opened all all the same as the, the some of the two endorsements I have today, the it was like, break. yeah, do the financial break breakout, out. Financial yeah, breakout. yeah, financial so. breakout, yeah. So, apa ata apa inje kuna wase tuneza kuwa naona ningoma ya hype, lakini wako kuwa mkutano na Nairobi, wana serereka uko na. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it happens. And it's, mi wambia wasa, it's not something to be ashamed of. Yeah. It's, you just need to call yourself waka mkutano, ni mepata ifem. Sasa nitafanya nini ndo ni generate into money. Mi, yeah. I, I mean, one of the things that I thank God for is, God ni kama alieka wisdom flani kwa akili yangu such that hata sometime when I go through a situation mimi yeah. mtunapenda kujiita kamkutano alafu najiambia let life teach me but it teaches you in a positive way and yeah. you are a very strategic artist <laughs> i think a very very strategic thank you unapiga hype kidogo <laughs> alafu ukiona no. imeshu ni kwa injili sasa <laughs> nice so a gospel song would be coming soon in covid ki extend I don't want to say that because I don't like what working is so much. Sana. Yes. So watch you wake up a surprise. Ah, yeah. Sawa sawa. Now siri ya kujipanga ni nini? Siri ya kujipanga na do. Siri ya kujipanga. Mimi mm. nachukia kitu inaitwa kuomba omba. Because just to, to retaliate or take you back, yeah? yeah. When I was famous in Brook, uko na contact list. Unajua kila mtu but wezi kopa mtu do at the back of your mind you're like huyu atanichukua aje ana na kwanza unampima you know kuna wale watu wenye eh msanii ali atakuwa niko msanii but it's it's true it, it comes it's it's true sina but niko na jina you know so hiyo ndo kitu wenye mr kagi kurudi place nimetoka mimi nimetoka mbali mimi si say ati nimezaliwa na do or something mimi si cool kid mi yeah mimi si cool kid hata i'm not next to cool kids you know na ni leo na Desagwa kiomba Mungu akuoe sasa. <laughs> oh me. So yeah. um Ana nataka kugurudisha Gedhurai na umesema urudi malume. <laughs> no that's my hometown. That's my hometown. So kurudi tunarudi. So, so tuna unarudi malume toka na Tukirudi tunarudi Thanksgiving. You know. Unajua utibu hicho. Ume bypass hii story ya <laughs> oh, oh, uh, you're not making any comments about Desagwa's <laughs> no. marriage. Ah uh, no, Desagwa is my friend and my homie. Yeah. Is so it with any highlights? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Arusi tunayo tunayo. Pale githurai. Hatuna. Ni huko masi baby. Hatuna. Eh. Una hata kama mnasema unasema mhm mm sengine Nairobi hiyo itamadde. Dem, madem. Mhm. Dem dem anaweza itwa tu meeting proper. Yeah. Na Nairobi dem like, as in hey. dem. Cuz again yeah. someone was making confessions to me yeah. our radio producer mm. nakwambia anaitwa wini mm. aliniambia mm. dem uko na do yeah. in fact madem de uko pesha na do yeah. but akikopesha especially dem akikopesha chali do mm. anamwambia ni ya mtu mwingine yeah. women are the most corny shy <laughs> no because there is this perception about 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 women in the society that we are very vulnerable we are gullible so most of them pia una tumi ujanja yako naambia mse hii pesa nimekuchukulia mahali ndo yeah. arudishe jo atakuchukulia wewe ni dema ah uataelewa you know we 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 are seen as people who, who should understand it's like when there is a dispute at home whom do you go to you go to your mom first before you can go to your father so tunaonekana gani kama sisi ni watu lazima tuelewe sana so yeah. lazima pia utumie akili zako tumie akili but <laughs> then kwanza kuna story fulani yeah. mm, uh, Chali yako akikukopesha do mm -hmm. utarudisha. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yangu ni yangu, yake ni yetu. <laughs> ah. Bye, I'm joking. Codred, codred. Our agenda is watching. <laughs> Our agenda is watching. Background mm -hmm. eh mm -hmm. background in finance. Yeah. So that's eh uh, tukonongea mm -hmm. before before kuingia kwa set. Yeah. Eh uh, interest yako na kusoma finance ilitoka kwa nini? Mimi naweza sema mimi ni mimi ni mtu creative like mimi ni mtu unajua creativity pia inakujanga in terms of numbers 1 yeah. two, three. Yeah. so venye nili nilingia campus nilikuwa najiuliza nataka kufanya mziki, but yeah. nimeitwa kufanya hii hii mambo ya finance so 
nikajita mkutano tena nikajiambia because i want to get into music i can use this someday mm. because every time when i was starting out people used to ask me because I, i was still in school utatumiaje hii finance okay. kwa nini yako na hizo sima yeah. imeplay a very very huge mimi wezi nigonga hii Nairobi hawezi yeah. nigonga do mambo ya tax juu na sima sijui kuna tax gani najua tax zenye kampuni nafaa kulipia na zenye mimi nafaa kulipia So having that background pia ya kufanya ma audit hapa pale um, receipts invoices imensaidia sana ku run muziki yangu ku run nice. pia biashara yangu professionally like as an artist That's yeah very nice. and actually using it in terms of uh, using the, the the platform that God has given me that is being known to the people and giving back through financial literacy to the people na hii time una admit that um, Nairobi, Nairobi had called you for a meeting <laughs> after radio lab yeah ulikuwa unapiga nduru na degree ya finance you know you know it's funny that sometimes life teaches you the hard way yeah. unaweza uko na uko na kitu but situation flani itafanyika ndo usemee wacha nianze kutumia hiki kitu niko nacho yeah. because when you're getting into the music industry especially as a young as a young lady for instance hiki kitu si si pre recorded si pre predetermined itakuwa yeah. hivi like me usema music industry the creative industry is the most irregular kind of job Leo kutakuwa hivi kesho kutakuwa hivi. You know yeah. you get into contracts with people, you're young, you you like excited. So I think it was a learning experience for me and siezi signiwa na record label kwenye nimefika. Una una signiwa na record label? Yes. No my record label ina kwanga nini? I really don't want to dig into that because it, it was a legal tupa, tupa case tupa actually. Tupatie tu graph. Ina kwa gani? Hata ukitupatia details, yeah. you could save someone out there. Yeah, actually kitu yenye mimi sipendi ni issue something that I thank God my brain saved me there. Yeah. I own all my masters. Okay. Wasani wengi hawa own masters zao. Mtu anakuambia wacha nikulipie nini, nikulipie sijui audio, video, ana own mziki. Such that if 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 a company approaches you they want to use Maombi or Radio Love. They are the ones making They're the money. ones making the money because you're just the singer. So that's one of the things. I know they're helping you out but you can still struggle and ufanye utu tu video video twako ngoma inaza blow but ngoma ni yako so wewe mm-hmm. your first songs ulizi finance yourself myself nilikuwa na struggle sana that's why the video qualities unaweza compare back in the day na saa hii you can tell a difference as in mm-hmm. uh, both mali wa ushikia mtu ni wapi kulipa do ya recording kulipa do ya recording na do ya video hapo ndo kwa mtu anakuambia mimi nalipa video nalipa audio hapo yes. ndo No my Actually pa video na audio ana own masters for, eh, good. for good. Na masters ni for good unless you buy back your, your masters. And when you're buying back your masters unaezambiwa kama 20 million. Na hii economy tutu wapi 20 million we pay mtu ndo nini? And probably you'll never recover <laughs> god for, for real? that. Yeah. Masters ni noma. So kwa msanii mwenye anaanza mziki to deals usiharakishe. Me I thank god because all my deals have been management based. Then he, I remember the first contract I was given was a 360 na nikakata sana there was just 360 a, 360, 360 is hiyo yenye nakwambia unalipiwa kila kitu vitu peti peti kazi yako ni kuenda tu kwa studio na kelele yeah yeah uh-huh. yeah I, i don't have anything against people who run record labels because there are some who are nice who are genuine who who can guide an artist through but kama huna lawyer kama hujapata mtu genuine mwenye anaku guide through think 10 times and Do they pay you like mm-hmm. mtu anakuja anakupea do kwanza mm-hmm. si wewe uko na talent yeah. anakuja anakupea do kwanza mm-hmm. alafu anakuambia mm-hmm. I'll do the 360 yeah. alafu they will make money off that now they'll own the music it's not worth it si, what si if si someone ne... cause me kuna deals hata ilikuwa ni when in 2019 a certain big big record label they we need to go advance record label nasema wacha tukupe 4 million. Unajua eh hujawahi shika 4 million but 4 million. million you can make mimi kama ningechukua hiyo 4 million mil, what is sorry but see, I thought <laughs> no see I thought see I thought mm-hmm. see I thought ata see ata I thought you are a smart lady no una i'm chukua, saying una i chukua. didn't take it i'm you saying you take the 4 million mm-hmm. unaingia hapo unaopiga album ya Mastivo Simple Boy mm-hmm. alafu unatoka unawachi hizo master unajua lazima warudi, warudishe hiyo do So contracts oh. are very detailed. You cannot so, give them something they have to re- recoup their money. Cuz yeah, unajua hiyo no. 4 million ya advance ya ku own masters. Na Bado you, kuna production. Hao ndo wanasimamia. In your experience, wanasimamia in nini? Your experiments, mm. How long will it take to recoup uh, 4 million na simple boy tu zako njema? Mama super S moto. Um eh hiyo zi don't ever take cuz wacha nikwambie creativity haikuangi predetermined venye nimesema. 
ngome nyo unafikiria ita hit ndo ngome itatekezea kampuni 20 million sasa imagine ngoma kama wangu we didn't expect wangu was gonna blow wangu has opened so many opportunities we imagine nime sign na mtu nimemwambia hii kwanza ipi yote chukua ipi sasa iko 10 million streams na umeuza wow. masters Wow. Wa kwanza ukwambia 100 million ndo urudishe utukupe. Na nani alikutanua hizo vitu zote? School of life. Me 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 we believe in school of life. We, you, we don't have to go sit somewhere master classes. I watch a lot of ma anyone who's around me, anyone who's in my yeah, team. Yeah. I like reading personally. It's weird because me nimsani. Yeah. But napenda I'm always carrying a book in my handbag. I like reading sana. Yeah. So I like to research. I'm getting myself into this. And if the deal is too good, hata mtu leo akiamua na kupea 2 million, nafikiria sana. Maybe mtu atakupea 2 million lakini una una pause career yako and so yeah. many other things. Yeah, yeah. So it's just being smart. Mi usema mziki ni, mi, ni vitu tatu. Akili, hard work na Mungu. Maybe you don't believe in God, but for, for me, needs of to that. Brains, hard work, and prayer. Aye, sawa, sawa. Imagine. Hey, ulisha sema ni maumbi. Yeah, ni maumbi. Hey, alafu, um, madame, mm -hmm. uh, bani samdia kikuit music, ali mm -hmm. sema industry ni cold sana kwa yeah. madame. Kuna mm -hmm. dame ame hit. Yeah. Ni, ha, ha, is, that, is that the same case kwa industry ya Kenya pia? Yeah, the industry is very brutal on women. Brutal ni wapi? Brutal is si uchukuliwa hivi hivi. Una get heshima yenye. There's something of real I, I really like of real. Kuna kitu of real yupenda kusema. Yeye ukuwa brutal hata na vitu kama changing room. Kuna changing room ya dem. Cuz unaweza simama tu mahali mtu akwambia ingia hapo nyuma someone takes a photo. The PR aspect in terms of a woman and a man is going to be two different things. Even from how women are judged by society. Inakuwa very harshly on women. So the moment we realize hivi, mi ni kitu yenye nilikuwa na jambia. Women tunaoneka na tukua emotional. For me, there's something I always use and I always tell myself. It's my head before my heart. It, it, kwa mtu anaza mi, misinterpret. But before ni seme ni mejamji ya kitu, lazima ni kwenye mekifikiria. It's always your head before your heart. So I always use my head before my... Because I know they're targeting at my heart, they, where the emotions are. So I'm going to use my head rather than my, my, my emotions. That's when I see a guy... Even in, in science, there are different mechanisms of surviving, survival mechanisms. Yeah. So when you a place iko hivi, uta survive Mimi nasimanga ni hapa before hapa. That's so my survival mechanism. In survival mechanism, you are mind before the heart. Mm -hmm. Namanche, you are heartbreak proof. No, it doesn't mean that I'm heartless. It means that... No, no not heartless. <laughs> heartbreak proof. No. Eh, mean melias. Umefanyua wambo itao. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm, I'm a human being, but when it comes to my work, you know, because there's a legacy I want to leave behind, there is, I want to be remembered for certain things. I want to be remembered as a very strategic artist, a very smart artist. So, na jiambianga, nisha jua madem tu nachukuliwa poa, waso ilo nisema unachukuliwa poa, you know. So, I'm going to make sure that every decision I make in yeah. my head, nisha ifikiria. Nikitumia moyo wangu kufikiria, nitafanya vitu because my heart led me there. But when I'm using my head, I'm like, those around me, my parents, uh, the people I love, me as a person. You're very sharp. Thank You're very sharp. <laughs> you know, they always say smart women, where to catch them is with love. <laughs> hey. Yeah, smart women are very poor with love. <laughs> have, 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 you, have they said anything lately? <laughs> no, <I'm> for it. <laughs> have they? Na sema. Na zapenda kujua. Una jua? This comes at a point, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've dealt with that. Yeah. Like before and after. Yeah. Personal. Ata si ma boys na kona na ma na mangori. Wana ume hey, hard break. Hey, mini vile, <laughs> mini vile. <laughs> I save my tears for for the last for no na ile kitu ya priorities. Yeah. I, I use oh. my tears. I prioritize how oh, I your use tears. Them. Ah. But apo kwa relationships nilisha accept. But <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. niko na hizo za before and after. Yeah. I watch I see people. Yeah. Wewe uko na hizo ma before and after. I mean hakuna ah, mtu hajawahi heartbreak you. Kama your ume ume heartbreak you after after maombi. <laughs> no, your time will go. My wangu. Umesha, 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 umesha pigwa msasa po, ha? Yani, my wangu usha i heartbreak you, but I'm in a place where by, when you mesema priorities, for me, it's, it's, 
creating a fortune and empire for myself and my maybe god willing for my kids so unaona ile mimi ya first heartbreak versus fifth heartbreak at fungulia ro to in the edition in the edition i want to step into the shoes yeah. of this guy because i'm sure i am 79% sure ana watch show yeah ajawai ongea um And you know me I'm very private with my love life. Of course <laughs> but no hakuna mtu anajua ni nani. Ni ni mimi wewe na yeye. Cuz mimi niko kwa shoes zake na wewe unajua ni nani na ana watch sahi. Mm. So it's a, it's a three person conversation. No, for me it's it, it's part of life. You know, you say on your meme first heartbreak versus <laughs> the third fourth heartbreak ziko very different unaenda ukikuwa immune eh ukikuwa immune so kwenye nimefika kitu inazanilisha maybe mziki yangu biashara zangu but at sasa team hacho za mapenzi no chako immune i did that for the sago he's my friend he had to know where he's getting to unajua ni alikuwa nilikuwa nataka apate kitu <laughs> blogs jamani mm. but i think madam pia new tupitisha kwa norma zingine za mm-hmm. the people who are there the mm-hmm. people who are to come mm-hmm. get punished for yeah. the mistakes of the people who are there ni kama the laws of moses it's a very unfair system oh the people who are before <laughs> eh wana no, wanafanya all right walichoma right. but i have an idea what my friend will go through <laughs> It's fine. But uh-huh. in your experience, mm-hmm. achana mziki, how difficult is it mm-hmm. to get to make a million bob clean? It's difficult. It's really really difficult. And me usema you make a million unexpected. Awezi panga. Ile siku yenye unapanga ti how kwanza ndo maybe utaenda losses. But ile siku yenye you just working hard you telling me I'm very spiritual. You just take telling God eh, take control. Yeah. So it to happen. I'll give you a good a good example. Time COVID hit, I was I was kind of scared because I had kind of spare uh, spent a lot on jipe. We spent a lot of money. We had it some losses. It was worth it. Ah, you you <laughs> worth every that was worth every coin. Yeah, and yes. you know we didn't know where corona was going to lead us. Like maybe total lockdown, you know the music. I was kind of scared. Everyone was scared. But the same time don't you make some of my biggest songs in yezi many elevate yeah, to the yeah, next level yeah, yeah. so no no your first million bob is something that you can never calculate you can never like inaitwa nini unaweza ngojea you know it's something that you keep putting in the hard work it yeah. life lazima iku surprise somewhere ukisema, too now ukisema you spent on jipe mhm ulilipa mario no i didn't pay you mario boys anaimba ni kama <laughs> ni kama yeye ni prop anaimba ni kama yeah Yani yu, yani alijituma fit pia. It, it was yani. a conversation of the two managements. Sevens na management yake inaitwa Dream Niche. Inaitwa Dream nimesahau kidogo. Kuna difference ya management na record label. Yeah. Management na record agents. labels zinafanya management. Pia. Yeah yeah. It's called uh, record labels offering label services. Ah. It's a okay. long discussion. NTV needs to hire me. <laughs> <laughs> For this master class. <laughs> ah, sawa. Na have you ever mm-hmm. umai waste do mm-hmm. ikakuteach lesson? Yeah, me ni shy. It, it's normal in, in, the, in the process of financial pain, freedom. Yeah. What your what's your most pain most painful financial mistake? Financial mistake. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you find a TV na do hapo wenyewe nilicho. It was in lump sum like big big money. Ilikuwa in installment. No, it was like I think 50k. Ilikuwa eh ilikuwa 50k and ulinyoroshwa hii town ah see like it, the quality of the thing i was paying for wasn't wasn't up to par and we kumbuka yeah the quality yeah like kitu wenye unanunua unasema eh nimeka hii 50000 lakini quality najaribu 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 kudro akili yangu kitu ya 50k Yeah, don't be kumbuka. Tuambie tu. Ah, bale, bale. I need to say something. I'm, I feel like there's something <laughs> I should say about your kitu ya. Oja to say. Unajua kuna vitu zingine they don't make it. Juma dhia kwa na watch. No, it's it's something that you itakuwa mbaya. Alafu unajua ni msee, nilinunua. Ushaikuwa na msee mwenyewe anakuambia anafanya ngai mnajuana. So yeah. unanunua kwake kumsupport pia na place at i make it easier kuiv. Sasa kumbe vitu zenye na deal nazo hizo za imports 
si quality ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. so nikisema ata mind. Ata feel ata feel umechoma, atajijua. Na watu kuna watu watajua nini. Atakuwa kama ule mse wetu wa first heartbreak. Nice. Sijaongea. Na where do you think madem go wrong na do upande yenu? Upande yetu. Kwa sisi upande yetu eh tutawa blame, but where do you think madem go wrong? Extra spending. Unajua madem kuna hiyo stuff ya beauty unaharibu pesa on so much be- it's good hata mimi napenda urembo napenda kwa poa napenda kuvangu mzuri mzuri but you have to always know where do you draw the line like is square t sasa you're spending you're spending so much on on you how you look or your output no na sawa pia kujiendeleza you get like hata kama mimi usema mimi mimi na, na wase wangu mimi waambia tupige mwili pole after kazi Unajua kujipiga mwili pole but kuna kitu mmefanya mnajua next month atutakosa. Sidi kila siku napiga mwili pole. You know like kama ni, ni unataka kujispoil unataka kununua the best makeup kit ni after umefanya kitu ya maana yenyewe za generate do. So mimi hapo ndo mimi feel si huko si kidogo. Though si wote wenye maybe wanakosea urembo sana. Yeah. Nilikuwa nataka kuuliza kupiga mwili pole yako ni gani alafu kataja makeup kit. We ah, si makeup actually. Kupiga <laughs> Kuna vitu zinabaki kwa kwa gallery on the wicked edition. Kuna vitu zibaki kwa gallery ya personal life but eh. mimi ni mtu napenda manya machoma. Ah. <laughs> Na shopping. Shopping. Mimi kwanza I think in my other life maybe ningefanya home decor. Shopping ya nyumba. Ai. Mimi it's funny like I change my seats every now and then. Like naweza ai spendi hii. After how long as in ukikalia kiti how long una People take it out of context. <laughs> no, can't take, can't take like, it out of context. Napenda Malam. napenda vitu napenda I like a big house and I love good things in the house. So, so we, we three months. months. <laughs> <laughs> no, out of context again. Ah, yeah. No, like napenda so that's like kujipiga mwili yangu pole ni naweza TV maybe you know um he kitty he pale i, I change like but see is that thing that you know so what does the tv have to do with owing your body an apology napenda vitu poa hiyo sasa me that's my my satisfactory setting whatever napenda vitu poa actually napenda napenda shopping na napenda nyama choma unapenda shopping na unapenda nyama choma eh hey. hey, najua na hizi kwanza ni hizi centers they, just, they are not posh Izi center za yemto eh na dia za kukusotesha za kizeza ni sotesha na vitu za nyumba na manguo na make how much for youtube peke yake but at hiyo hapo kwa shopping na unaweza kuchukua loan but but when it comes to makeup mhm ndio kitu ni confused mhm is it something to do with esteem low self esteem No. because new kapoa no ikwenda kununua sijui ni ya what ali azin unakatu poa hapana you know ni kama mi usema hivi makeup is not supposed to change who you are it's supposed to enhance kidogo like yes unakapoa it's not supposed to change who you are who you are then why are you you are enhancing ushipata grades mara alafu na usome zaidi it could be better enhancing <laughs> yeah, in an anski dogo. Maybe we'll go na ka. I don't know if this, this is a good nini, it's a good word, sexy. Is it a, a good word on TV? No, no, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I thought ni come off large because yeah. <laughs> ukika poa mm-hmm. but utaki watu wajue ni wewe. Hapana. Makeup ina fatu inaongeza. I change who you are. It's supposed to enhance, not change who you. Mpaka ni men. Hizo ndio zina mna uwa maboys hapa nje na aflatoxin. Kwa sababu kwanza hii tu lipstick peke yeah, yake yeah. mtu wa juu ni nini? <laughs> Alafu mna jua mali watu wa ukutana nayo. Mnavumilia. Aflatoxin. Mnavumilia. Sasa lazima mtu hiyo sasa ndo part of kujipiga mwili pole. You are hard working woman. Ladies, you are a hard working woman. Jipiga look no, good. No one is disputing. <laughs> no one good. is disputing. Mm-hmm. But what are you telling God? No, we telling God. Eh? Thank This you. This is what you should Sasa, have done. Thank you for that question. Umepewa nyumba iko empty. Si ndio mtu akakupea nyumba iko empty, si ndio? <laughs> Ama kuambia chukua nyumba. It's it's only wise ukirembesha hiyo nyumba. How change? 
unaire mbesha so god ametupea very very beautiful bodies very beautiful skin tones chocolates melanin whatever all you have to do kuire mbesha unaambia god i'm a flower na ongeza tu maua tu wengine tu dog you're not changing it well, the problem is when now you go overboard and alter Uh, But if you just enhancing it kama hiyo nyumba unaongeza eh sofa set na kapoa nima, TV pa nimekuona huko kuna nganya comeback but hatu <laughs> kipewa nyumba unarembesha hey. si yenu ni nyumba inajirembesha hapana hii unarembesha unarembe how change hauambiwe mtu hapana hmm. acha tu change tukachukua wengine kwa kitsuru no unairembesha kai you, i'm sure you get it so okay let's see <laughs> What, what happened mm-hmm. what happened to mm-hmm. mki decide mm-hmm. unaweza kwa tu team natural sawa and you still look good ah you will still look good kabisa kabisa as in yani 100% hiyo ni sawa but unajua in life kuna kugana options kila kitu kitu yenye inabamba mse me kuna watu wanasema ah, wacha tu mimi napenda hii nyumba ikikuwa hivyo like ikikuwa hivyo too plain kuna watu wasema ah mimi am extra hii nyumba lazima, lazima wall a uh, painting pale you know so it's the same example kuna watu nyumba wanataka ikuwe hivyo tu mimi nita uh-huh. nitaeka tu gondoro ni lali wengine kitanda ile ya gorofa nitaje sawa basi umeshinda ba you've won basi we won <laughs> ladies <laughs> you have won sawa sawa yeah. i'm not bringing that debate ever ever again ever ever again mm-hmm. now wewe ni msanii umefanya finance yeah. uh, probably Uh, kama 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 ungekuwa if you hadn't uh, joined the music industry mm-hmm. and had hadn't put in the work that you have to get to where you are now mm-hmm. you know get mm-hmm. you'll probably be looking for work mpaka sasa hii yeah right mm. um kuna watu sasa hii hawana job yeah. kuna demo amefanya finance but hayuko in music so yeye ni wewe mwenye afanye muziki yeah. you know get mm. now what's your advice in terms of finance moves like to take yourself to the next level i'm not asking about to save from nothing but in terms of ideas kama eh hey, nianje uh, madem demo anaweza fanya nini kama aja get job yes kuna mwenye ame, amesoma na bado mm-hmm. anatafuta job yeah. na kuna mwenye hana form bado kuna zile shule za mtaani zenye unaenda upewe mimi nishaifanya hiyo huko mwehok do primary school kingine hapo you can offer ku, ku teach ata watoto about business utapewa peni kidogo but it's better than staying at home kama u, Yani you can find an opportunity ya kuanzisha hata financial consultancy now that's on entrepreneurship there are yeah. so many companies that need financial consultancy yes. watu wameka tu accountant but they forget they, we also need a financial consultant mtu yeah. mwenye anambia ha spend hii pesa hivi 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 you know so there are so many opportunities squeeze kuna online you can start your own to master classes on youtube teaching people you you generating revenue podcasts highly paying so i think tuna create two zile opportunities zenye squeeze ukiwa tuna na smartphone unaji create opportunity and i'm sure you can make something out of yourself na me we believe hard work hakuna siku hard work yeah. itaiko sa ku pay off hakuna kuna wana mtu sema mimi nimetia bit no ni siku yako tu ndo ina <coughs> yani god is waiting for that ka day hakuna siku yenye hard work ij pay off hakuna that's, that's a very very wonderful uh, thing yeah. to say hakuna siku hard It's I think true. to change kidogo. Tuseme mm-hmm. hakuna siku working smart mm. itawahi kosa. Haitawahi kosa results. Eh, kuna wa, kuna working smart mm-hmm. ya working hard ya ku work smart. Yeah. Like unaweza work hard in the wrong direction. Yeah. Unaweza put effort in the wrong direction. True. But if you exert your effort in the right direction and yeah. give it your best, it's bound it's gonna work. to work. Yeah, results. Oh wow. Tunaanza <coughs> tunaanzisha masterclass. Ah uh-huh. uh-huh. but but you're such a vibe. You're such a vibe. <laughs> Sana, sana. and i'm so glad we had you on the show leo on the show leo na ulisema wewe si cool kid ah <laughs> very far ah sana i mean my local mananji eh, local mananji ya kawaida tukifunga, tukifunga lesson moja ume learn kwa umaskini ah uh, mimi sema usiwe dhara umse jujui kitu yenye imemweka hapo na the second thing me believe in maximizing on minimum I've shot some of the videos nikianza on minimum minimum budgets. So usweka home useme sasa sina. Me believe in maximizing on minimum. Unajua? Yeah, hata kwa 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 kampuni when I'm hiring people 
nawaambia ga kitu ya mimi natafuta watu wenye tuta spend the least na mnaleta the most because even ndo tutaka afloat so it's my financial kind of quote that i use like i maximize on minimum and minimum or whatever wow. vice versa hey, so, yeah. that's good vibes that's good vibes asante sana kwa kukam Ah uh, mimi nimebambika sana nimejibamba yeah, master class invoice na tuma wapi sana maze eh unanitumia tu mimi <laughs> <laughs> ni long since ni ignore you know, <laughs> you hide it yourself guys <laughs> you can't hear us eh come in god your manager to take your conversation on the sides yeah. maze you're such a vibe thank you sana kwa kuka this was amazing this was an amazing eh hey, maze and i hope tunaweza kuwa tena na tena asante na unajua team wicked edition wataendelea kukupenda even more because on kupenda kimuziki na labda wengine hawako wanajua wewe pia yeah. pale kwa pesa wewe ni mimi ni lemse mbona wanamstana anapenda pesa in the right way <laughs> eh yeah, exactly 